I thought this could be an interesting topic of discussion. Bill Belichick and Andy Reid. If you had to say who are the two best uh, coaches that are currently working, who have the best resumes out of coaches currently working, I think 99% of people are going to say Bill Belichick and Andy Reid, at least in terms of their resume historically. Uh, But, you know, they're at different points in their career now than they were when they first started. A lot has changed. Figured it could be fun to compare the two, uh, who's better overall and who's better right now. Let's just get into it. So first, let's compare historically before we compare what's going on right now. You have, uh, you know, uh, three categories. Two of them are essentially the same thing, just easier to digest because I have their records, but then also their win percentage. You see that uh, I was actually kind of surprised that the win percentage is as close as it is. Of course, you know, both of these guys have coached two different teams. Uh, Belichick had a sub 500 win percentage with Cleveland before having an incredible win percentage with the Patriots, whereas Andy Reid had uh, played, you know, coached uh, a good chunk of games for both the Chiefs and for the Eagles, uh, and has had success. I mean, he did make, uh, you know, what he's made ten conference championships at this point, so maybe not quite as much as Belichick, but they've definitely had plenty of success. The clear difference, and the reason why many are going to give Belichick the nod, is going to be the Super Bowl rings argument. If we're talking historically, kind of hard to argue against a guy who won six Super Bowls, uh, although. I think some people would point out, listen, a quarterback matters a ton in terms of winning Super Bowls, and maybe if Andy Reid was the head coach of the Patriots and Bill Belichick was the head coach of the Eagles back in the day, maybe Andy Reid has six Super Bowls, maybe he has less, maybe he has more, uh, but as of right now, all we can do is go off of what we've seen, and we've seen Belichick win six rings. I also think it's fair to point out that part of why, you know, uh, I think you could argue uh, one of those rings directly was due to some uh, Andy Reid issues uh, when they played each other in the Super Bowl. I guess they should, I should say they coached teams against each other in the Super Bowl uh, when Reid was with the Eagles and Belichick, of course, with the Patriots. Uh, you know, uh, the Patriots won that Super Bowl and Andy Reid's clock management was a big uh, thing that was criticized when that happened. They were down two scores. They were able to get a touchdown on the drive to b- bring them up in one, but they took so much time on that drive, they uh, they just didn't have enough uh, you know time left to win the game. They got the ball back, but they were deep in their own territory. You know, I think it was under thirty seconds left. Couldn't do anything. Reed got some criticism for that. So maybe you could argue, you know, if Reed wins that one, Belichick now just has five Super Bowls. Reed has three. It's a lot closer of an argument, but. Part of why they didn't win was in, you know, debatably because of Reed. Uh, also, should mention I am, of course, only talking as a head coach. As you know, uh, there's more Super Bowls as coordinators in the mix, but just head coach Super Bowl rings. Uh, that is the difference. As for just last year, the record was a pretty big difference, and in fact, in recent history, it definitely favors Andy Reid. Uh, you know, Belichick had a sub 500 record last year. Andy Reid, oh, his Kansas City Chiefs just went 14 and three and won the Super Bowl. Bit of a difference there. In fact, Andy Reid's teams have, uh, you know, in the five years that you have Mahomes as the quarterback of the Chiefs, Andy Reid's teams have performed better than almost anybody. The, you know, out of those five years, they've been the one seed four of those years, and they were the two seed another one of those years. Although, in one of those seasons, the Bill Belichick Patriots were able to beat uh, Mahomes in his first season and beat the Chiefs and beat Reed and go on to win the Super Bowl. So while Reed's teams have had better regular season success uh, with uh, Mahomes there, the postseason success definitely still better because he has two rings to Belichick's one. But given the fact that Belichick had Cam Newton and then, uh, you know, Mac Jones for a good chunk of those years, for four out of those five years, that obviously, or uh, three out of those five years, excuse me, that obviously plays a role. But still, without a doubt, uh, recent success has heavily favored Andy Reid. So I've narrowed it down to three main categories that we're going to be comparing these two guys uh, with. So we're going to do X's and O's, game management, and leadership. To me, these are the three most important factors in being a good head coach. Um, just to be clear, if you're better in two out of the three categories, doesn't mean you're the better overall you know, head coach. Maybe your game management is a little better and your leadership is a little better, but your X's and O's are way worse. Well, then I'm probably still going to go with the other guy. Uh, but yeah. Without further ado, X's and O's is a difficult uh, argument to make on either side because these are two different 
uh, you know, they coach the different sides of the ball, right? Belichick is a defensive minded head coach. Reed is an offensive minded head coach. So who is the better X's and O's guy? I mean, they're both very clever in their own ways. And for Belichick, it's almost kind of difficult to talk about the X's and O's with him because of, I, you know, how it starts with the players he finds, which at the end of the day, I know Reed has a big impact in guys he gets as well. So I think it's a little fair to bring that up. He does a great job at, instead of trying to find just two corners who are elite at everything, uh, unless he can get a guy like Stephon Gilmore, typically what he does is tries to get, you know, 10, go- 10 secondary players who can all do specific things and he mixes and matches and uses them so well. It's almost less of an X's and O's thing, really, and more of like a you know personnel thing, but I'm including, you know, the on the football field decisions in the mix. And Belichick is great at making on the football field decisions uh, with that kind of stuff. His defense is uh, back when you could win Super Bowls with a great defense uh, and like have that be your strategy going into the season and win a Super Bowl that way. Uh, he was doing that consistently. You know, he won three Super Bowls before Brady really took off. I feel like that has to be mentioned here. Uh, Andy Reid uh, has always been ahead of the curve in terms of X's and O's. I think that if you ask me, this is a tie. I don't really see a definitive benefit either way. Reid has had success with, you know, Alex Smith, he's had success with, uh, you know, uh, Donovan McNabb, good quarterbacks. I'm not saying they're bad quarterbacks, but he's had, he's elevated them to to a higher level than they probably should have been. Uh, Whereas Belichick, uh, I think has elevated his defenses to where they should have been. I really can't give a nod to one or the other. I think they're both incredible at X's and O's. Um, Game management, this to me, historically is a no doubter. Bill Belichick has, you know, uh, great game management. I mean, he was one of the guys who was ahead of the curve in terms of the fourth down decision making. Now, since then, I think that definitely, uh, you know, other people around the league have not just caught up to him, but surpassed him in terms of game management to the point where I actually think both of these guys have are, you know, that's a weakness in their coaching style in 2023. Um, But, you know, uh, historically, Belichick, pretty massive advantage there, I would say, as Reed, again, the clock management stuff, uh, it's a real thing, it does exist, and it is, I think, even Reed's biggest defenders will say, yeah, there's been some errors in his ways, although they've cleaned up a lot these past few years, and I actually don't know, I don't know if I would say right now that Belichick is better at game management than Reed, because I do feel like both of them tend to be too cautious at times, but Reed probably goes for it on fourth downs more than Belichick does at this point, maybe that's just having Mahomes versus having Mac Jones, I don't know. Uh, but I think that's a very interesting thing. Historically, Belichick, uh, but currently, I think I'm going to go, think I'm going to go tie there. Although, you know, I didn't say my currently thing for X's and O's. I do think currently I also would give the nod to Andy Reid. Uh, I think that just the X's and O's factor and how good he is at that, that uh, you know, how he runs his offense now so differently than everyone else. I think, again, it's kind of the issue of you get copycats of teams just do what Belichick has done for, you know, a couple decades, whereas as Reed is kind of, I think, uh, evolving a little bit quicker than Belichick, but it's very close right now. Uh, but, you know, so historically, massive advantage to Belichick in game management, uh, but kind of a tie as of right now. Historically, a tie X's and O's wise, but a slight edge to Andy Reed right now. Leadership is where things are uh, just just fascinating because, you know, I have to say, I I don't think I've ever heard someone... Uh, you know, a former player of Andy Reid, have a bad thing to say about Andy Reid. Maybe I just, I've missed it. I don't know. I miss some stuff sometimes, but I haven't heard that. You definitely heard it from Belichick. You've definitely heard it from players who used to play at Belichick. Basically, a lot of guys do say like they didn't love, uh, you know, how uh, harsh he can be. Although some people have really gone to bat for him as well. I believe it was Chad Ochocinco who said that like Belichick would be very relaxed on certain things. He just like, there was specific things that were important that he made sure that you did. Uh, and it's gotten incredible results. I mean, how many players have had career years one day were playing for Belichick? I think you could, you know, again, uh, the narrative is that he kind of runs it like the Navy, basically, of how harsh he can be at times in specific ways, Um, and I think you could argue about the ethics of it and how necessary that is, but it does seem to be that he gets uh, a lot of great performances, so I am going to give the edge in leadership to Belichick, although they're both great. So as a whole, where am I going? 
I think I'm going to lean, uh, I think historically, I'm giving the edge to Belichick. He's won to six Super Bowls. Maybe Reed would have won six if he had Brady, but he didn't. Uh, so as of right now, win six Super Bowls, two more as a coordinator, eight total Super Bowls. I'm just talking about head coaching, but you know, I threw it out in there to make my argument stronger. Uh, I'm going to give the edge to Belichick, and I do think that uh, he had a huge hand in those first three Super Bowls, and still a big hand uh, in you know at least a couple of the other Super Bowls. I think he did some really nice things, uh, you know, uh, in especially that Super Bowl 49. Him and Matt Patricia got to give him credit uh, for Super Bowl 49. You know, uh, m maybe some of the other Super Bowls not so much, but uh, definitely Belichick was uh, great. Uh, you know, and the defense was you know great in that game. Um, I do think right now I would rather have Andy Reid. I think the game has passed. I don't want to say passed Belichick by because he still is so good with his secondary stuff and like the way his defenses run stunts and all that stuff is still fantastic. But I think Andy Reid is just a little ahead of the curve in terms of X's and O's right now. I don't see a massive uh, advantage in game management and even leadership. I think you could argue isn't that big of an advantage uh, as of right now. So uh, yeah, I'm going to give the edge right now to Reid, but historically to Belichick. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.